Hi, it's Chris Crocker in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center on a very hot Wednesday evening. We've been on fire watch here at the station as a wildfire sparked off just shortly after noon on State Route 195 just south of town. Hints are that they're starting to get that under control, but not taking that for granted. Uh, go to KXOY.com for updates on that. In the meantime, here are four things to know about your weather. We have a heat advisory, went into effect at noon today, continues through Friday. However, the heat looks like it is going to be peaking tomorrow. Hazy conditions, not only due to the fire burning south of town, but wildfires throughout the region. Possibility of some spotty showers in our forecast. Difficult to pinpoint where those are going to be falling. Best chance will be along the east slopes of the Cascades with the potential of some isolated thunder as well, thunderstorms as well. So we'll be watching for the possibility of new fire starts. Meanwhile, here is a look at the heat advisory in the area shaded in orange on your screen. That puts vulnerable populations on notice that the heat is enough that it could take a toll on your health. Although, boy, we're going to have a number of these hot days ahead and the effects of heat are cumulative and they can sneak up on you uh, if you don't stay hydrated. And that is a daily thing. You don't start fresh each day. Each day uh, you run a greater risk of running into some heat related ailments um, enough of the mothering in the pink area that is an excessive heat warning and that is where temperatures are getting up above 100 degrees and the entire population uh, could be at risk for heat related illnesses ridge of high pressure is in place over the region Here's our upper level winds. You can see where our jet stream is there in the uh, blues and greens. Uh, we are actually looking to our south at some monsoonal moisture that is drifting our way. It's going to bring an increase in clouds tomorrow, the second part of the day, and enough moisture that we could run into some isolated showers and thunderstorms as we get into Thursday night and Friday. There's already fire weather warnings in effect for the east slopes of the Cascades for the potential of new starts because of that. If we do get any rain, it likely will not be measurable. Maybe a trace, a sprinkle. I got a car wash today that pretty much guarantees I'm going to get uh, sprinkled on. And boy, is that going to be a dirty rain with all of the uh, dry weather we've had. And now add to that some wildfire smoke uh, that is going to be going anywhere uh, due to relatively light winds tonight. Um, meanwhile, let's go ahead and take a look at our overnight lows. Those clouds that are coming in tomorrow are also going to impact tomorrow night's overnight lows. Tonight we'll be getting down, it'll be still above average, but at least there'll be a few 50s on the map, some 60s in Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, mid 60s, 60 down in Pullman. We'll be in the 70s in Grand Coulee and Lewiston. Then our highs tomorrow are up in the triple digits in many locations, still keeping it just under at the airport in Spokane, but it may get up to 100 degrees at your house, especially if you put your thermometer in the sun, then it'll really get into the hundreds. Your planning forecast, um, as those clouds come in tomorrow late in the day, uh, that is going to keep our overnight low temperature Thursday into Friday close to 70 degrees. So that will be an uncomfortable night of sleep if you are air conditioned challenged or do not have an air conditioner at all. 97 uh, Friday with mostly cloudy skies and again spotty showers a possibility. On Saturday, a high of 92 um, with more clouds and the possibility of some isolated showers and then uh, we have some 80s Monday and Tuesday. Our average high by that time is down around 82. So we're still above average by a good five degrees or more. And um, I think we're gonna keep the above average temperatures going right on through the end of the month of August. Maybe there'll be some surprises in September that include cooler weather, uh, but I don't, I don't know about that yet. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be safe, take care of yourself, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.